Hi, fourth grade. This is Mrs. Seville. Today we're going to talk about inventions and discoveries. I know yesterday you talked about three with Mrs. Berkheimer. They were the pretzel, root beer, and ketchup. And today we are going to learn about three more. Here we go. All right. We're going to start with peanuts, the peanut king. The peanut king, Amadeo Obisi, came to America from Italy in 1889. Let's make this bigger so you can see it just a little bit bigger as we go. So I'm going to make it so we can see it for you there. There we go. All right. The Pina King Amadeo Obisi came to America from Italy in 1889. He moved to Wilkes-Barre and set up a fruit and nut stand in the street. There he met Mario Peruzzi, who was also an Italian immigrant. They went into business together and formed the Planters Peanut Company. It's unsure how the two Italians arrived at that name. It became one of America's greatest corporations. In 1916, a contest was held to find a company logo, and the winner was a 13-year-old boy from Virginia. He designed Mr. Peanut, for his draw and for his drawing, he won $5. That was several days' pay back in 1916. Here you can see the um, signs of this. I'm going to try to move myself so you can see that it says Wilkes-Barre, PA, where the peanuts are made. Here is the drawing of Mr. Peanut, and that is what the, got the boy $5. So this is the shop in Wilkes-Barre, PA. And where this is from is very close to where I'm from. So I saw this building many different times when I went into Wilkes-Barre. So I, this is a little closer to home for me. I'm not from that anymore. Of course, I live in Altoona, but I used to go here as a child. And we're going on to the next discovery and invention. have come a long way. There was a time when the only way to put your thoughts on paper was to use a pen and ink. But in 1867, a man named Christopher Scholes invented the typewriter. Christopher Scholes was born in Danville, Pennsylvania in 1819. As a teenager, he got a job in a printing office. Back then, it was a long process to print on paper. Each letter was its own small piece of metal and had to be placed on a printing press by hand. As Christopher got older and continued to work in the printing business, he decided to think of a way to print without using a press. After many attempts, he was able to patent a design for a typewriter. The typewriter was the most popular way for people to write business and professional documents for over 100 years. Computers now take the place of the typewriter. Computers make it easier to correct mistakes and can even check your spelling as you write. And, unlike a typewriter, with a computer you can send documents to someone in seconds. The typewriter may be retired in our day and age, but the keyboard on a computer looks the same as the keyboards did on the first typewriters. We can thank Christopher Scholes for our ability to put our thoughts and homework on paper quickly and easily. Christopher Scholes was born in 1819 in Pennsylvania and as a young boy worked in a printing shop. Eventually he became a reporter and printer and later an editor of a newspaper. Christopher wanted to make a machine that people could use to print words with their hands and by 1867 he invented the typewriter. He had a very hard time selling the typewriter and so he sold it to Remington Arms Company who started making and selling the Remington typewriter. He spent the rest of his life making improvements to his invention, like adding the shift key. Although his invention was amazing, he died in 1890 without ever getting rich from his invention. Okay, so a little bit of information here. Um, Christopher Scholes was born in a place that was very close to where I actually was from. They, this was about 15 minutes from my home. 
So I was not born at this time, of course, but I lived very close to this town and had a lot of different things. I went to the school there in Danville to just see friends. So this was very close to my home, not too far away. We are going to go on with the next invention. Oh, I forgot. We're going to talk about the typewriter. Here are the typewriters. This is, again, just some pictures of the typewriter before we now we go to the next invention. Okay, Pennsylvania clockmakers. America's first known clock was made in 1685 by Abel Cotty from Philadelphia. Pennsylvania's early, early clockmakers were treated with great respect. David Rittenhouse of Norristown was a well-known scientist, mathematician, and paper manufacturer. He was also the first director of the U.S. Mint. He built a nine-foot clock with 16 chimes. Songwriter Harry Clay Work gave this tall new case, tall case clock, its popular name, My Grandfather's Clock. He wrote a song by that name probably around 1876 while he was living in Philadelphia. Maybe you can research and find out that song and listen to what it sounds like. But for today's homework, this is what you're going to do. You're going to think about different things that you might make, different inventions, something that might be done, um, something you can make from recyclables. Um, write down what your name of it would be and try to tell your parents or someone in your family about it and maybe draw a picture of it. Maybe then take the picture of it and send it to your teachers so they can see it. So I'm going to just show you this was something made for me by one of the children that I think he's actually in fourth grade this year in kindergarten and it was just an old can and they glued a bunch of pencils to it and it now is a pencil holder. So I use this all the time to keep my pencils in. They made it decorated it with little ribbon at the bottom and this is what I have on my desk to keep my pencils. So something like this is really easy to make with maybe pencils that are smaller now but look into different things also if you get on the activity board there are some other links that you can go on to just look at some different things that can be made with recyclables at home all right guys have a great day enjoy your rest of the week and enjoy your weekend and keep on reading talk to you later bye